The new version of Mac OS was officially unveiled back at the keynote on Monday for WWDC. And in this video, we're going to go over everything that's going to be coming to your Mac later this fall with Mac OS Sequoia. Now, if you haven't already seen my iOS 18 video, a lot of the features that are going to be coming to Mac OS Sequoia is actually a lot of feature parity from iOS and iPad OS 18. And so if you want to see all of those in more detail, you can check out the video here in the upper right corner. But but uh, the best macOS Sequoia specific feature that I wanted to first start off with is iPhone mirroring. And honestly, this is even better than what I was clamoring for just getting iPhone notifications on your Mac because you do get notifications from your iPhone to your Mac. And then you can click on that notification and in pops a new continuity feature called iPhone mirroring, where you now get to view your iPhone and control it. You can control it by typing with your keyboard. You can swipe around the UI of your iPhone using the trackpad, and you can even drag and drop files between devices. And one of the things that I'm super excited about, in theory, I haven't tested this out, but I feel like I should be able to then cut down versions of my videos in the future shorts for Instagram and TikTok and be able to use iPhone mirroring to then drag and drop the file directly into the Instagram uh, or TikTok app on my iPhone, upload it, get everything set and shoot it out to the world to watch. And that is awesome because uh, using the actual desktop versions of those platforms is not good. And so I find myself often just uh, air playing the videos over to my iPhone and having to do that process. So this just eliminates that whole thing and makes it so much easier. And so I'm super excited about iPhone mirroring and I cannot wait to test it out uh, when it comes to maybe the developer beta later this year uh, or at the very least when it officially hits the public later on in the fall. Mac OS Sequoia also has a few new productivity features specific for this release. Uh, being able to tile your windows, like just by dragging a window to a corner or to the side edge of the screen and it automatically snaps to either the side or the corner, allowing you to have like four different apps displayed at once and not having to resize that on your own. Something that I think a lot of Windows users have grown to love and just kind of hate that it's not on a Mac. Well, now it seems as if we're getting our own version of that, which is always great. Uh, and if you're in a video call, there's a new presenter uh, preview mode where you can basically get a look at the single app or or the screen that you're about to share with somebody uh, before you actually share it. So in case there's something personal that's up on your screen and you're in an important meeting and you're about to just hit share screen and there it goes, everybody sees it. You can now see what you're about to share before you share it, which is nice. And uh, if you are someone who likes to have different fun backgrounds, Apple is now including its own built-in backgrounds, as well as the ability for you to upload a photo as your video call background. And with its industry-leading segmentation technology, it should actually look really, really good and kind of feel like you're actually in that environment that you set as your background, which is really cool. Now in Safari, this is part of the iOS 18 and iPadOS 18 update, but you do get the new highlights feature, which is able to display and give you uh, relevant information and highlight that info uh, for different links to maybe learning more about people, places, movies, TV shows. Those are all just kind of the highlights that are shown to you at any moment. You get an upgraded reader view, which will give you not only table of contents, but also a quick TLDR high level summary of the article. If you want to choose uh, to read the rest of it, you can, but you can also just kind of digest that quick little bite of information before you do that. The brand new passwords app is also available on macOS Sequoia, and it looks just like it does on iOS and iPadOS, much like the reminders app where you kind of have things broken off into different sections for, you know, two factor codes, your Wi Fi passwords whatever might be at risk that needs to be fixed, so your compromised passwords and whatever you might have recently deleted. There's all of those sections off to the left. You can share passwords with your groups and see all of those different passwords that you have set, as well as obviously the passwords themselves. And it's just a really nice implementation of the new passwords app. And I'm super glad that that's all across the platforms. And then again, like I mentioned before, the rest of these features and kind of rapid fire are available on iOS and iPadOS 18. If you want to see that video, go ahead and click the card here, but I will run through them pretty quickly. Uh, you do have the new maps view with the topographic maps and detailed trail networks, as well as hikes that can be saved for offline access. 
Uh, the Notes app still gets that live audio transcription, so you can automatically start a recording in the Notes app, which is new, and then it'll be transcribed as that recording is happening, and then you can search through that text and kind of organize it the way you want to if you need that text for later use. You do get math notes in the Notes app for macOS, uh, but you obviously don't use the Apple Pencil, but you can still type out equations, and the moment you hit that equal sign, it'll automatically uh, solve the equation that you have written out, and that is super useful, especially if you like to use notes for expenses and stuff. It's a really quick and useful way and you don't have to get the calculator out. And there's also those collapsible sections that are available, as well as the ability to highlight text to kind of make your notes stand out a bit more. And last but not least, if you use your AirPods with your Mac, you still get the same new features that I talked about in iOS and iPadOS 18, which is for AirPods Pro, you now get voice isolation. Uh, there's that whole spatial audio for gaming and hands-free Siri interactions, which I personally cannot wait to try out. Uh, let's just say you get a phone call and you don't wanna answer that phone. You can actually interact by just simply saying no with a shake or yes with a nod. And that's pretty much all of the major features that are coming to macOS Sequoia. Of course, there's a lot of little features and we'll touch on all of that as well as Apple intelligence. Those features will be throughout all the platforms and I will have a dedicated Apple intelligence video very, very soon. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss those videos and turn on notifications so you can see it the moment it drops. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you all in the next video.